Have you ever stopped to think that the universe shouldn't exist at all? Not you, not me, not anything. According to modern physics, the Big Bang should have created equal amounts of matter and antimatter, meaning everything should have annihilated in an instant. So, why are we still here? Was it a mistake, a glitch, or something far beyond human understanding? Let's dive into this cosmic riddle that science still can't fully explain. Hey, restless mind. Welcome to the channel where science meets the abyss. Here we explore the most mind-bending paradoxes of the universe. Subscribe now and comment. I am made of chaos and mystery to show you're part of this journey through the dark edge of existence. Imagine this. At the very beginning, during the Big Bang, matter and antimatter were supposed to be created in perfectly equal amounts. That's what the standard model of particle physics predicts. But if that had happened, every particle should have instantly collided with its antimatter twin and vanished in a flash of pure energy. Nothing would be left. No stars, no galaxies, no you. But something went wrong, or right. Somehow, matter gained the upper hand. An incredibly tiny imbalance, one part in a billion, allowed matter to survive. And that sliver of survival became everything we know. Atoms, planets, life, consciousness. It's as if the universe cheated the rules it wrote. Scientists call this imbalance baryon asymmetry, and they still have no clear answer for it. Some blame quantum fluctuations. Others point to unknown particles or forces that we haven't discovered yet. The truth? We're grasping at shadows in a cosmic dark room. So what does it mean? Is the universe a fluke, a lucky mistake, or is there a deeper reason buried beyond the limits of science? As we dive deeper into this paradox, we start to encounter even more mind-boggling questions. The imbalance between matter and antimatter wasn't just a small cosmic detail. It's the foundation of everything. Without that tiny slip in symmetry, the universe as we know it wouldn't exist. But what if there's more to this than just random chance? What if there's something we're not seeing yet? One of the theories suggests that something outside the observable universe might have influenced this imbalance. Perhaps there's a force or a law of nature we haven't discovered. Something that guides the behavior of the universe at the deepest level. Some scientists speculate that this could even tie into concepts of multiverses or parallel realities, where other versions of this universe are constantly being created and destroyed. The creation of matter over antimatter might be tied to the very nature of reality itself. Could it be that the universe exists because it's the only possible outcome, given the laws of physics? Or perhaps the universe exists because it's the only way that we can perceive existence? In other words, does reality need to exist for us to ask these very questions? This brings us to another unsettling thought, the quantum vacuum. In quantum physics, empty space isn't truly empty. It's filled with fluctuations, virtual particles popping in and out of existence. These fluctuations are unpredictable and seem to defy the basic rules of cause and effect. Could these quantum anomalies be the source of the very imbalance that gave rise to our universe? Was the Big Bang just one giant quantum fluctuation? A random blip in the cosmic order? And what about dark matter and dark energy? These mysterious forces make up most of the universe, yet we can't directly observe them. Could they play a hidden role in this cosmic anomaly, quietly influencing the balance of matter and antimatter in ways we can't yet understand? It's almost as if the universe is programmed to exist, but not in the way we expect. There's something deeply unsettling about the idea that everything we know, the stars, the galaxies, life itself, could be the result of a cosmic accident, a mistake in the fundamental fabric of reality. Yet the question remains, if everything is just a fluke, then why does it work so perfectly? How can such a small deviation from symmetry have resulted in a universe so perfectly tuned to allow life, matter, and complexity to emerge? As we venture further into the mystery, we begin to see how deep and complex this paradox truly is. The imbalance of matter and antimatter wasn't just a random fluke. It's a question of fundamental physics. This small discrepancy led to the creation of everything we see today. But if we dig even deeper, 
we begin to question if this imbalance was truly accidental or if there's an unknown principle at work in the cosmos. Let's talk about the fine-tuning of the universe. Everything in our reality, from the formation of atoms to the exact nature of gravity, appears to be perfectly adjusted to allow life to exist. If the forces of nature were even slightly different, atoms would fail to form, stars couldn't burn, and life would be impossible. It's as if the universe was designed for us to be here. But, if this fine-tuning wasn't the result of a conscious mind, then why do the laws of physics seem so perfectly arranged? Some researchers suggest the idea of a multiverse, a collection of many universes, each with its own set of physical laws. In such a scenario, it's entirely possible that we live in the one universe out of an infinite number where the conditions happen to be right for life. But this doesn't solve the paradox. It only pushes it one step further. If multiple universes exist, how do we explain the fact that our universe seems to be perfectly set up for our existence? Was this one universe just lucky? There's also the possibility that this cosmic symmetry, this balance between matter and antimatter, exists not just because of the laws of physics, but because of something else entirely. Some scientists have proposed that the universe itself is part of a larger system, a multiverse where the entire structure of space-time could be malleable, bending and shifting in ways we can't yet observe. Then we have to confront the nature of consciousness itself. Is it possible that the very act of observation, our ability to perceive reality, plays a role in shaping the universe we experience? Quantum mechanics suggests that reality may not be fixed until it is observed. Could it be that the universe exists only because we are here to witness it? Is the universe as much a creation of our minds as it is of the physical forces at work? This idea blurs the lines between objective reality and subjective experience. At its core, this paradox challenges our most fundamental beliefs about existence. If the universe should not exist if it was meant to self-destruct in a cosmic battle of matter and antimatter, then what does that mean for us? Are we simply the result of a cosmic accident? a fleeting moment in the vast nothingness? Or is there something deeper at play, something far beyond our understanding? One thing is certain, the universe is a riddle that may never be fully solved. The deeper we look, the more questions arise, and the more we realize that the mysteries of existence are far more complex than we could ever imagine. But perhaps, in this endless cycle of discovery, we're not meant to find answers. Maybe the real mystery lies in the pursuit itself, our constant quest to understand the universe and our place within it. As we conclude our exploration of the universe's deepest paradox, we find ourselves confronting more questions than answers. We began by asking, why does the universe exist at all? The universe should have annihilated itself in the first moments of the Big Bang, but instead, here we are, alive, aware, and standing at the edge of an infinite mystery. We've explored how the imbalance of matter and antimatter led to the very existence of everything we see. This tiny deviation, almost imperceptible, has defined the reality we experience. But why? What allowed matter to dominate and why did this particular outcome unfold? Throughout this journey, we've encountered theories that suggest quantum fluctuations, dark matter, and the multiverse may hold the key to understanding this imbalance. We've looked at how the universe might not be a fluke, but the inevitable result of unknown forces that transcend our current understanding of physics. And yet, the deeper we delve, the more elusive the answers become. The more we learn, the more we realize how little we know. The universe, it seems, exists as a paradox itself. On one hand, it defies the most basic expectations of physics, and on the other, it appears to be fine-tuned to allow life to emerge. But why this particular fine-tuning? Why this particular balance between matter and antimatter? These questions may never be answered in our lifetimes. Maybe that's the point. Some mysteries of the universe may never be meant to be solved. Maybe we're not meant to understand why the universe exists or why it works the way it does. Perhaps the real meaning lies in the questions themselves, in the ongoing search for answers, the endless pursuit of understanding, that keeps us pushing the boundaries of science and knowledge. But there is one thing we can be sure of. The universe is not here by accident, whether by design, 
chaos, or a combination of both, it exists, and we are part of it. And in the grand scheme of things, our existence, our consciousness, and our ability to ask questions are perhaps the most profound mysteries of all. If you've made it this far, you've ventured through some of the deepest questions humanity has ever asked. Congratulations on being part of this journey to explore the unknown. Now, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think the universe is just a cosmic accident, or is there a greater purpose behind it all? Comment below. I am part of the mystery to join the conversation. Let's keep pushing the boundaries together. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to watch these two related videos for more mind-bending mysteries about existence and reality. And remember, question everything.